On our way out, I had the chance to observe the Red Canyon. Did you notice anything, Professor? Uh, what do you mean? I did? Of course. I expected as much. Did you really? The area was covered in ruins, each more curious than the last. They did not match the architectural style of any era or culture within the Empire, hmm. or across all of Fodlan for that matter. Is it close to the Empire? I guess that would make sense. It's why Rhea found it the Empire was close to where she grew up. That can only mean one thing. Okay. The Valley Civilization must have flourished and fallen in the distant past, long before the Empire was established. Yes. Yes, indeed. Who do you think lived there? Uh, well... A culture long since perished. Uh. <laughs> it's possible they weren't even human. Yeah, you know. You know. You know you're prodding right now. Okay. Hmm. Perhaps their remnants still influence this world. I guess you could say that. You know, considering uh, you know, the, the building we're in and your very own crests. And technically mine as well. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. Speaking of... I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target huh. the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. You know, I just... I just realized what Rhea said there. I'm just gonna make a mental note that may bring it up later, may not. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. I will do all that I can. No, wait, of course. Good. I have high expectations for you. All that I can implies I can't do it. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. Y'all both prodding right now. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. A temporary haven? Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. I'm still wondering about that particular fact, but... The goddess is always watching over Fodlan from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. I mean, if this is what it actually looked like, I'm... I'd be curious to see it. Like a flashback of some sort? She is the mother of all life. The arbiter of every soul. I didn't know. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Saros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. All right. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. You could say that. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? Ghost fits. Are you simple? That's impossible. I am most certainly alive. You are, but in a ghostly like state. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on. And now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I. Uh... <sighs> okay. Now I'm. I, I hate to be whatever, but I really, really want to see what supports I got. <sighs> Part one: White clouds, garland moon. 
Mutiny in the Mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrastia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. Okay, new places to explore, and we're going to meet up with Ray again, right? Yeah. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. All right. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Why would he do that? Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He's been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. And now we figure it all... Leads back to the Agarthans. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lenato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knights' rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Y'all didn't expect a lot of stuff. Excuse me. You sent for me, Lady Rhea? Hey, Catherine. It's weird seeing you in red here. Yeah, two. This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights. And that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. I would wonder what the qualifications are for that. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. And there goes the, one of the most sus lines Rhea said. Like that was a big a hint as any. Like don't you dare. No. Not yet, Lysithia. At least let me get back. Sorry, Sylvain. Got to prioritize my team. Okay. Well, let's get started. Sh I, I'm not gonna use a seal on myself. Well, that's an interesting look. I think it fits her well. So does that, honestly. But um, if there was any and that doesn't. <laughs> like, you would think she'd be more elegant, but then again, you, I don't think you would ever expect. She would um, be an armored knight of all things. We're working on her axe. If I have time, I might reclass her to get her sword rank too. As expected. Yeah. No issues there. Uh, next, B. Linhart. Let's see. Nah, doesn't fit. Soldier. Mm, I, I could, I could see it better. Than, no, 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 no. He a monk, for sure. All right. I passed. Well done, me. Well, you know, I like think the professor had a slight bit to do with that. Um, but nah, nah. Good job, man. Now Petra. Uh, I was thinking it'd be a different color, but yeah. Okay. Actually, a soldier isn't bad on Petra. Fighter. That's actually not bad either. Bow. Hmm. But nope. Mirrored him. All right. I have success. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and um, explore. And class abilities. Give my class back. Both of them. Reclass. What? I gotta use the Dagum seal to get my. Okay, game. Okay, game. Alright. Fine. Whatever. Still got my abilities, so, you know. Give me that speed, too. Uh. Right now, I think over the, the crit, I need that speed. Or maybe over the eight, nah, over the crit. Once I get faster later. Oh yeah. It's blocked. Of course it's blocked. Okay. Yep, we got Ferdinand and Bernadetta. Okay. Right. That is most definitely a thing. Okay. Well, that's everybody except Hubert has uh, a rank with somebody. And yes, I remembered Shamir. I don't think I didn't. You have spent quite some time in here engaging in such idle chatter. Do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste? I should have listened more intently. You must try harder from now on. And Hubert and Edelgard, what's Edelgard asking? Even within the Knights of Saros, Catherine is the strongest. What? By a large margin from what I've gathered. Uh... Eh, she and Shamira are partners for a reason, I'll say that. Why not seek her out as a sparring partner, Professor? I don't need your help. I have a favor to ask. Okay, I can do that. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? So y you two are still gonna keep me in the dark? I mean, yeah, we, we, we don't even have a C rank yet. Okay, I respect that. Here to train? You really are as hardworking as they say. I'm a force of nature. Huh. Maybe the gossip's wrong. I forgot she did that. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top tier mercenary professor? Oh, by the way, um, in case you guys didn't know, in uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, Leonie has a quote. Let us begin. Is now good? If I must, I'm top tier. I mean, I'm not disagreeing with it, but uh. I'm going to work a lot harder than all the fancy nobles around here. I can tell you that. Right. We're on recruitment stage and mission assistance time. Goodness. My central duty as a noble is to protect the common folk. Mm hmm. I abhor those like Lord Lenato, who deliberately shatter the peace. Utterly disgraceful. You don't say. I hope no one is hurt. You have a kind soul, Professor. Now I feel a little sheepish for showing anger and not empathy. I apologize for my impetuousness. Your heart's in the right place, Ferdinand. Your heart's in the right place. So far, I'm not seeing any contradictions between the Ferdinand I see in this route and the Ferdinand that was... Well, we'll see. We have plenty of time, and this is just the beginning. Professor, about this month's assignment, raising an army against the church, really? Though it looks like we won't be fighting, it's still quite unsettling. My understanding is that it will all be subdued rather quickly. Yeah. Dorothea seems like she'll have some very interesting comments on the whole situation. Casper? Ah, today's meal was delicious. 
twin heart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. Well, you should be careful. <sighs> when you're busy, there's no alternative. Absolutely! I knew you'd see things my way. Well, I need that rank, and I gotta get it the right way. Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. If they talk to each other, though, they'll know I, I said different things. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. Sounds unhealthy. Why am I mentioning it to you? Good luck with him. Walk away quietly. And Yurita's out and about. What? I desired fresh air. The wind feels nice. I have a favor to ask. All right. Oh, he allowed me to get my battalions. Then I can fix them and we'll be right as rain. What do you require? Oh my gosh. That's only 185. Okay. Thank you. In the Battalion Guild, you can find various battalions that aren't affiliated with the Church of Seraphs. Yeah. We're allowed to hire them if we so please, so you should familiarize yourself with the Guild whenever you have the chance. Naturally, battalions oh. lose in if you visit the battalion. Sorry. I am familiar, Edelgard. Okay. But. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. Yeah. If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. Says you. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. <sighs> what? I'm just going to focus on uh, the positive vibes right now. Dimitri? After Fargus lost its king, there were many rebellions. It is likely that Lord Lenato's provocations are related. Yeah, that's another thing. How frustrating that I am too young to take the throne. Rendered powerless by age. Oh. The throne is vacant much longer. The kingdom will fall to ruin. Hold on. This... What the... This is it. Best be on your guard. Where's Felix? This wasn't in the Blue Lion route. Catherine, but I you should spar with me. No. Dimitri is saying he's too young to take the throne, but I thought Felix was expressed being upset that he didn't. Hey, Teach, there's some minor noble rebelling in Fargus, right? He has no chance of winning. I wonder what he hopes to achieve. Huh? Are you going along to help? Sounds like an easy victory, but good luck out there. Appreciate it, bro. Ah. And yeah, from the outside looking in, it does look pretty weird. Petra? The plants of Fodlin are different ones than in Bridget. And people here are unknowing of the spirits who watch over the earth and bless it. Only the goddess is known. Is that factual? Well, I can confirm so this does exist. Flame. If the flowers within the greenhouse are removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, flowers that thrive despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? Yes, they are. Oh, good. Got my professor level up. And last but not least. What you doing? All right. Well, if I can't get Edelgard right now, well, as always, Hubert. But I actually have been thinking about something, and it just occurred to me. No, not my roster. We go to supports, and we go. Here. You'll notice Hilda 
is very much still here. Along with the Ashen Wolves, of course, and uh, Rhea. You know, I always, I remember being told that each house has like a second in command, but it was always my opinion that compared to Dadu and Hubert, who like both seem massively loyal to Dimitri and Edelgard respectively. Not that Hilda isn't loyal to Claude, but she always felt like another student until we got to post time skip. I... Well, I was told some stuff. All right, one of the things is that... Well, point is... For now, I believe Hilda still has some supports that I haven't seen. Ferdinand and Casper. So, since she is very much still an option, I can at least get their B ranks with her. So I'm not done with Hilda. That's good to know. And I'm also getting tired, like I've been, I meant to stop like an hour earlier, but then I decided to try to do the map. For now, who does Edelgard not have a bond with? Honestly, I should do what's smart. And I think I will. There she is. All right. Now I know what I said, but honestly, since we have gotten that match done, it's time. I'm not waiting any longer. Monastery grounds are far too spread out. Feels like it takes hours to get from one area to another. Well, yeah. I can imagine, especially with you. And no, that's not because I'm getting lost. I'm a fully capable, mature person who never gets lost. I never said anything. Lysithia, it's once again time to ask you. Will you join me? Yes. Can I help you? I bet you've come to invite me to your class. What with my stupendous grades and all. Well, you know, they speak for themselves. I would actually enjoy being in your class. Quite a lot. Then welcome back, Lysithia. This was a successful interaction, I must say. Please provide me with all the most challenging assignments. I want to be well equipped for the future. All right. Ah, Professor, it would seem that a minor lord in Fargus is raising an army. Sheesh, that's a difference. This poses a threat, obviously, but not one for the kingdom, for the church. I mean, Fargus doesn't even have a king at present. There's something unsettling about this army. You had better ensure we're fully prepared. Oh, I'm about to do just that. Let's head to my personal quarters. Where is it? Skill level? Yeah, nah. Give Lysithia back her B. And as I said, I have no interest in trying to grind Lysithia back. Max power? But at the very least, Luna, Dark Spikes T, and Reason 4. And we'll go ahead and warp is too strong. So, for right now. Nosferatu, Seraph. Oh. The heck. Whatever. And. I don't mind getting her authority up with the others. For now. Everything else is fair play. All right. With that said, Lysithia is back. And Lenart, too. I didn't realize that. Well, I really only did that, uh, well, I did that for multiple reasons, but the main one, so I can do this again. And not feel bad. Oh, I love 
love this meal. How did you know? Eating delicious food really Wait. takes my worries away. Is this sweets? Huh, had no idea, Edelgard. They're a fan of sweets. And there's one other thing I need to do. But first. Uh out of everyone, I really think I need Dorothea and Bernadetta up. So I'll do these two. I think I like this, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. And I realize I've never invited her to dinner before. Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Well, thank you. Thank you kindly. Okay, any supports? Both of them. Well, that helps. Granted, I've seen them both before, but you know. So helps. Nothing with Lysithia. It's okay. We got time. I'm going to use the um, the uh, maps that we had. As far as when I'm grabbing Constance and Happy and Yuri and Balthus, I'm thinking. Well, Constance, I'll probably grab. Um, Maybe after the house battles? Or at least when I naturally get in a jaunt? I don't know. I don't know. I'll get Constance before everybody else. Constance is the next one, and then... Well, then there's Mercedes as well. But Constance is the one I'm going to be using in battle. So, yeah. Constance will definitely be next. Then Mercedes. Hey there. Then everybody else. Well, just Constance and Mercedes right now. Alright, so I'm back, and I realized I want to do something. I want to look at everybody's notes, because I don't know much about, well, the notes can offer some interesting insight. So, let's start with the Edelgard first. Born as the fourth? The fourth daughter of the Andrestrian Emperor? Taken away by her uncle, Lord Arundel, and freed, flees to the kingdom. Returns to the empire. When was that? That was when she was nine years old. Then she returns when she is 12 years old. And then that brings... Oh! Oh, it could be 12, it could be 13. Um, by the way, she enrolls at the Officer's Academy. Uh, yeah, because uh, she's about to turn 18, right? When's her birthday? It's, uh... Yeah, here. Alright. Likes reading and solitary exploration. You don't say. Um, talented individuals debating history, viewpoints and strategies, nature, beautiful scenery. Dislikes outdated values, crests, ra rats. Chains, swimming, losing control. Interesting. Okay, Edelgard. Um, next up, we got Hubert. What, what's what's the deal with you, man? Born the eldest son of Marquis Vestra, uh, becomes Edelgard's vassal at the age of seven. Wait. No, that can't be right. Yeah, that is. That's 13 years. Never mind. Um, enrolls at the Officer's Academy at Garrick Mock with Edelgard. So they enroll at the same time. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and he's 20 years old. Well, that's not too much of an age difference. He likes strategy and tactics research. Protecting Edelgard. Uh-huh. Um, he likes irony, coffee, intelligence, useful people. Dislikes the Church of Cereals, those who bother Edelgard. Gambling, heights, nostalgia, laziness. Yeah, these, these clues... Hint at some major beef on the way. Obviously, I didn't have all this when I first started the game because I started with Claude, but. And the game made it seem like Claude was the most sus person, at least from the intro, right? He's the schemer, but, anyways. Ferdinand. No, sorry. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. That's his full title right there. Uh, born the eldest son of House Eyer, his father gains power through the insurrection of the Seven. 
Right. And he enrolled at the same time as uh, Edward did. Being a noble is his interest. Collecting armor. Um, horseback riding. T. Justice. Being noble. Height. I like those. Wait, heights? Except for the heights thing. I, I, I don't like roller coasters. It's like slothfulness. Nobles who are not noble. Yeah, I got no beef with Ferdinand. Like, I always... I, ever since I saw this man, I thought I would like him. And I do. I appreciate that, Ferdinand. All right. Linhart. He's the eldest son, okay, meets Casper, and ooh, really, he's good friends with Casper. That explains why they were both uh, in the fortress. And he enrolled again at the same time. See, I gotta pay attention to this stuff because, well, I gotta pay attention to this stuff. He is interested in sleeping, crest research, yeah, makes sense. Um, likes sleeping in, midday naps, reading, fishing, sweets, freedom. Fits him. Dislikes fighting, yeah, blood, I just found that out. Weapons, duty. Self-restraint, politics, and ghosts. Oh, he and Lysithia will have an interesting support. I can already tell. Okay. Casper. Like I said, or like we found out from Adelgar. He was born second son, Count Berlees, um, after the Count's retirement. His father. And here, wait. So, like his uncle? Okay, meets Linhart and becomes and then enrolls at the Officers Academy. His interest of training, early mornings and quick breakfasts. Uh, fighting, training, vanquishing evil, dislikes liars, injustice, wasting time in the rain. I see. I'll, um. I imagine I'll have some more to say when it comes to Casper. But, alright, Bernie, I should already know. Yeah. I already know Bernie's. I, she's been in my house since the beginning. Dorothea. I'm not sure I had her, but I'm not sure if I looked at her stuff. I feel like I would have tried to have avoided it, but. Born as a daughter of a lady in waiting to the Imperial Nobles. Makes sense. After many twists and turns, enters the Middle Frank, Middle Frank Opera Comp. Oh, house. That was a company. Takes the opera going world by storm. Yes, and temp. Early leaves to enroll in the Officer's Academy. Interest singing, a bit of everything, like singing, acting, music, decorative ornaments and accessories, small animals. Dislikes. Yeah. Yeah. I think I did read that. And then finally, what's the deal with Petra? Born as the granddaughter of the King of Bridget. Loses father in the Dacta and Bridget War. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. She does. Well, that'll be interesting. She has a support with Petra. I don't imagine. Oh, that. Yeah, that, that'll be really interesting. Okay. Um, goes to the Empire as a symbol of Bridget's vassalage. So does she even want to be here? I mean, she doesn't seem upset. And then enrolls. At the Officers Academy at Garrick Mount with the cooperation of Duke Gareth. Who is Duke Gareth again? Um, is he somebody that. Well, either way, because I remember she owes a lot to him. And that's why she joined Edelgard, I'm pretty sure. Interest hunting and hiding. Wait, and high tanning. What? High tanning? You tan hides? I that's new to me and studying like swimming in the oh that's what I like to see sunshine climbing trees family or homeland dislikes math idleness and discrimination okay the other two I appreciate but math that kind of hurts all right well on that note now that I got to know everybody um, I think I'll save these two for next time, actually. Or, yeah, next time we do the supports, because right now, they're currently maxed out. So, most people are. So, I'd rather you do those supports when I, um, when I need to. As, like I said, I've already seen them. So, Hadelgar and Lysithia. Let's talk. That's how I'm feeling right now. Lysithia, are you alright? You don't look well. Huh? Oh, no, no. I'm fine. Really.
really just not accustomed to so much manual labor. Yo, wh why, is she, why am I having her do this, all right? She has condition. You were cleaning the library all by yourself? Why? Yes. The other student who was assigned to tidy up with me wasn't feeling well. So, it's just me. Why do I have the strangest feeling that that was Hilda? Lysithi wouldn't fall for that, would she? Would she? I figured I could at least dust the bookshelves or something, but... I, uh... I got a little carried away. So many books. You probably tired yourself out just moving them from the shelves. Yeah. As much as I love books, I can't say I love carrying stacks of them to and fro. They're so heavy. Well... Maybe you should think things through a little more next time. Surely you can tell how much physical strength the job is going to require before you begin. Yeah, she's got a pride thing. I can do without the condescension, thanks. After all, I'm the only one who has to deal with the fact that I've worn myself out. No, it does affect others. I only said that you should take care of yourself. Especially considering... Considering what? Considering what? Yeah, wait a minute. Nothing, never mind. You already know. How about you return to your quarters? I'll finish cleaning up in here. But I want to finish what I've started. I don't mind, really. Please, don't make me repeat myself. <sighs> Fine. As long as you'll finish all this up. I will. Get some rest, okay? Yes, yes. Thank you. If what I heard about Lysithia is true, hmm, I just don't know how much of it I should believe. Some of these, of course, are going to be hard for me. I can tell. Okay. Yep, they're definitely going to talk about it then. I mean, why wouldn't they? Like, that's their big thing that they have in common. And now it is time for the question of the day. And once again, Lysithia returns to join us in battle. And I think I'm going to start doing some interesting stuff. Like in this episode, I was reluctant to go full power still. But after thinking about it and actually using Lysithia in a, a grinding battle, I think I'm going to gonna go ahead and max it out already because... It's our third route. We should try some different stuff to make the experience more interesting. And when I was watching um, the previous battle back again, the Red Cane, I was thinking, we've seen the battle. You know, the interesting stuff is what the Black Eagle is doing. And I was thinking that the future battles, I don't know. I haven't recorded them yet. But they have less to do with the Black Eagles. That's what I was saying with the Blue Lions. Playing the game again, I was actually excited to play all those maps again because they had stuff to do with the blue lions themselves you know so until we get to a black eagle map it actually would just help if i expedite the process and then you know make my units as op as possible well by the slash blake and lysithia so but with that being said for today's question of the day now that i know all the units have a general idea of who they are except for the ones who this question won't involve i think now is a good time to ask you all if you could bring two units with you on all three routes, who would you choose and why? I say two because one, I have a strong feeling it's not just me being biased. I mean, yes, I have a bias towards the Golden Deer, but I legitimately think Lysithia is just a unit that's one of the best in the game. And I have a strong feeling that for Yuritsa alone, Lysithia makes a good counter. Like, I'm not sure if Hubert has Dark Spike C. That he's the only other person I could see possibly having that. Um, same thing with Seraphim. But either way, I suspect, I mean, it could be wrong, that Lysithia will be in most of these answers, if not all of them. So I figured the second one is where we really get some interesting answers. And we can't use any character that's blocked to a route. Like Claude, for example. Uh... I guess you could consider Hilda. I'll allow Hilda if you want to say Hilda, but uh, not the Do, Dimitri, Hubert, or Edelgard. Anybody else? I'm okay with you saying, yeah, I'd bring this or unit or that unit. So 
Oh, and the Ashen Wolves count as well. Like, I think that, that goes without saying, but yeah. The Ashen Wolves as well. But if you do choose the Ashen Wolves, only two. Alright? So, with that being said, please post your thoughts down in the comments below. And I will see you all next time.